Okay, because people keep asking me for uh, more photos of my printer, I think I just make a movie instead. So you can take a look what mods I got, uh, what upgrades I install. Uh, I put some more info later in the uh, movie description because now I don't remember all of that mods mm -hmm. I installed. And that's how it looks. Is inside of the IKEA uh, like a tables. I built the case. Mm. Yeah, so you need like a print like a risers to to fill the printer inside. There is a thermometer outside and inside temperature. My screen is here. I move it outside. Dry filament box for free or maybe for rolls if they are not white. Uh, there is a Bowden setup. Over there I'm using the That's an E3D V6 uh, copy with the proximity sensor that, that is crap, it's working like random, it's really really not a good idea to install that type of the sensor. It changes the sensitivity, depends on the temperature of the bed, so it's worthless. I'm waiting for my uh, 3D touch sensor now and I can't wait to install this. Under the bed, I'm not sure you see it, it's my own design, uh, Igus uh, bushings, it's not the bearings, Igus bushings uh, holders. I put them online in few hours or something like this. On the back, I'm using the Igus bushings too. Mm -hmm. There's a strut bar on the back to make the printer more stiff. Printer is bolted to the table. Uh, that's a Raspberry Pi camera V2. There is a Raspberry with Octoprint server on it. USB, USB ports. Uh, I close that so it's not so loud. All my electronics is here under the table because it's very warm inside of the cabinet so I don't want to bake my electronic. That's the switch by the way. I can turn off the power uh, from my mobile phone anywhere I, I am. I just need to connect to the special application and just turn off the, power, the electricity from the main switch. It's really useful to be honest. Of course there's a mob set. I can easily remove the side panels they are holding on the top on the magnets. So I just need to open this and slide them from bottom. And that's it basically. I using the Octoprint server like I said and on my mobile phone I got the Printoid application so I can uh, use my printer, mm, take a look what's happening with that uh, from anywhere in the world. Okay. So that's it I think.